basic APA formatting using Word and Microsoft Windows. First open a new blank Word document and I'm just going to paste in some text to work with. Hit Control A to select all the text you might already have in the document and go to Layout Margins and make sure margins are set to 1 inch or 2.54 centimeters all around. Now while all the text is still selected, click on the Home tab and set the font to Times New Roman 12 point. Make sure all the text is left aligned by hitting this Align Left button if it's not already selected. And next we'll put in a page break to separate the main paper from the cover page. So place the cursor either on the next line or immediately following whatever text you have on the cover page and go to Insert Page Break. To do the first page header, select and copy your title. Double click into the very top of the document to make the header area become visible. And under the header and footer tools design tab, click different first page. As this is your first page header, it can and will need to be unique and different from the headers across your other pages. Now paste your title into this area, select it, go up to the Home tab, and in the lettercase icon, and select uppercase in the drop-down menu. Just before the title, type the words running head with a lowercase h, colon, and space, then put the cursor right after the title, hit tab to get the cursor to the right, insert, page number, current position, hit the top box, and if the number gets pushed down, just put the cursor ahead of it and hit the backspace key once. Now click back into the main of the document to get out of the header area, and place the cursor before the title, hit the tab key four or five times to push the title page information down a bit closer to the center of the page. Now select everything in the title page, go to home, and hit the center button. And you can see here the title looks just fine. It's in title case, meaning you capitalize the first letter of each word. And below the title, you just put your name. And on the next line, you have the course name and the course code. And between the course name and course code, you need to insert an end dash. So put the cursor into the space, go up to insert, and then symbol, more symbols, special characters, hit end dash on the second line, and then insert, close. Now we'll select the letters in the course code, and we'll go up to the home tab, to the letter case icon, and select uppercase. And then we'll remove the space between the letters and the numbers in the course code. The teacher's name looks good. It's prefaced by the word professor, which is what you want. And now we'll go down to the date placed at the bottom line of your cover page. You want a comma between the day of the week and the month, and another comma between the day of the month and the year. And now let's select the title again. Copy it by hitting Control C, Control V to paste it into the top portion of your paper proper. And make sure there's no extra line spaces and that the title's centered. Now click into the header section of the page and paste in the title, left align it, select it, go up to the case icon, choose uppercase again, tab the cursor over to the right, insert, page number, current position, backspace if the page number got pushed down, and notice that you don't have the words running head here. This is the difference between the first page header and the other headers. Now click back into the main document, Control A to select all, then go up to the home tab, the line spacing icon, line spacing options, make sure before and after are set to zero, and the line spacing set to double, then hit OK. Tab the first paragraph in one tab space. Do the same with the second and all remaining paragraphs. Remove any extra spacing so that every line is equally double spaced, including between all paragraphs. Grab this first heading, give it title case, which means the first letter of each word is capitalized, and center and bold it. Indent the next paragraph, and we'll center and bold the last heading that says conclusion.
then we'll indent the last paragraph so that we have all paragraphs pushed in one tab space and all headings centered and bolded. So now we just need to add the reference page. So after the last word of the paper, before the references are to begin, let's insert a page break. Type the word references at the top of the page, center it, but don't bold it, and then get rid of any extra spaces you might have any extra line spaces. Select all the text under the word references. Go back into line spacing options. Under indentation, go to special hanging and hit OK. Now here's what the format for each entry should look like. While everything's still selected, go to the AZ icon and select sort by paragraphs text ascending, hit OK and now your reference list is in alphabetical order. So to recap, we've got the title page with the first page header including the words running head, unlike the remaining headers which don't have running head. We have a page break between the title page and beginning of the essay. We've got the body of the paper with the title restated at the top, all paragraphs indented one tab space, and all headings bolded and centered in title case. There's one inch margins all around, everything is equally double spaced, and the font for everything, including the headers, is Times New Roman 12 point. And that's it.